person that's next to you. Because you might have some similarities, but at the same time, you are different. Because you like different things. And when you can come become comfortable in your in your within yourself, that's when you find that strength to be an individual, independent person. And you stand up for who you are as an independent person. So with that, I'm gonna go into a little bit about the skirts because that's another part of our identity. The very first time that I was asked to go to ceremony, this grandma that gave me my name, she said, when you come, she said, bring a skirt. And I said, okay. So I go over there, I was never in a sweat lodge or anything, and I go over there and I'm carrying my skirt. And then I look and there's some other Anishinaabe ladies there that were older than me. They all had their skirts on and I look around and they were all just pretty skirts. You know, they have different colors and all this. I was almost ashamed to take my skirt out because I knew I had to put it on. And I just grabbed any old skirt from a drawer or because I didn't even wear skirts. And I put on this skirt that would just, some kind of skirt. Maybe it might have even been my mom's, I don't know. But I just grabbed the skirt and put it on. So then I'm sitting with these ladies and I tell them, oh, I just love your skirt and mine, I don't know. You know, I was kind of like uncomfortable. And that's what was my first time learning about the skirt. Why I had to wear a skirt for the first reason, it wasn't the looks of that skirt. It was for respect. It was for respect that I was going into this, into this lodge, going into ceremony. And that, that there was some older men coming, and some young men coming. And so I had to be respectful. And I had to wear this skirt to hide my legs, to wear long sleeves, to kind of just kind of take care of yourself, you know, and not like show off any part of your body. And then <clears throat> I was taught inside the sweat lodge that the reason why we had that that skirt on was because we were life givers and Mother Earth is a life giver. <clears throat> so we connect as women with Mother Earth because of being a life giver. That's the most powerful time in our life. I'm gonna say that was faster than all. So, but we connected with we connect with Mother Earth, um, and that's why we have it's like this tunnel. We connect through this this opening, the bottom of our skirt. We connect to Mother Earth, who's a life giver, <clears throat> to the moms who become life givers as well. And so that was one of the reasons why you wore that skirt. The other reason was because of just having that respect around others, other men, and just having respect for yourself. <clears throat> when it came to colors, <coughs> excuse me, <clears throat> when it came to colors, like I said, all these ladies had really pretty skirts on, they were colorful, and I come to find out <clears throat> that some of them wore them, <coughs> excuse me. Like a faulty network. <coughs> um, some of the colors represented their names. <coughs> Might have represented their clan, but it represented when they, the they got the their work. name, they were given specific colors. So they would put those specific colors on their dress. And it's the same thing that goes with the men's ribbon shirt. You might be given a gift of the color and then the colors of the ribbon that's gonna go on your shirt. So with that, they might say, go and make that skirt or go and make that shirt because that's you, that's your spirit shirt, that's your spirit skirt. Some skirts are made for different types of ceremonies as far as like the moon ceremony. <clears throat> um, some can have a collection of skirts. 
And one of the things now is there's, there's a style of traditional and contemporary. We live in both worlds, you guys. We have a contemporary style that we have no choice. We have to go to school. We have to get educated in order to survive our society today. But at the same time, we want to try to preserve our culture and preserve who we are as unique Anishinaabe people, tribal people. So we need to carry on and hold on to those, those teachings and that history. I always say the most powerful weapon that we have now today is education. And it's, it's, education is going to be a place where we can move on to better our communities and our tribe. But at the same time, in education, we also have that, that ability to preserve what we, uh, what we were brought up with and what our grandparents had. <clears throat> when I talk about contemporary skirts, there is no right or wrong. You can wear a skirt that has meaning to it. You could wear a skirt that maybe you dreamt about or a shirt. Um, and put those ribbon collars because that's what you saw in your vision. Maybe you're an artist. How many of you like to draw and <coughs> You do what you see. So if you decided you wanted to create that skirt or that shirt, that's your, that's up to you. And nobody can take that away from you. If you want one ribbon on there, if you want 10 ribbons on there, it's up to you. We do have a few sacred numbers four and seven. Four is the, the four directions, like I have on my skirt today. Seven is the seven directions. We not only have those four directions, like north, east, south, and west, we also have the direction to the sky, the direction to Mother Earth, and to ourselves. So sometimes you might see seven ribbons on the skirt. Um, and Sometimes now, what I consider a contemporary style skirt, you see some that have like overlay, like there might be like, kind of like a pretty kind of curtain kind of looking. That's a contemporary style skirt. <clears throat> you might see young girls that have skirts that are up to their knee, like above the knee. It still has ribbons and everything. That's a contemporary style skirt. I am not one of those grandmas that's going to go and yell at you for having that because to me, you're still showing your strength, you're still showing your colors, and it's making you proud, and you're dressing up. So wear that kind of skirt if you feel like you want to wear that kind of Just know the times and different times to wear them. You might wear that kind of your um, going on a trip or maybe representing your school. And then there's times that you might have to go to a relative's funeral that they say, wear a skirt, please. Or maybe I'm going to ceremony, maybe I'm going to the sun dance. Then you're gonna put that long skirt on, right? So it's, it's that balance again. You're gonna know when to do what. And I don't think you'll have any trouble with anybody as long as you just know when. That's, that's my teaching with you guys. Just to know when. And it's almost like, you know when you can get away with things and you know when you can't. So, I don't know how much longer we have, but kind of basically what I have to offer you guys today. Um, does anybody have any questions?